One tip that I've always given to people whenever it comes to streaming on Twitch is to test your stream before you decide to go live. So this normally meant creating a secondary account and going live to it and just testing out your settings and making sure, you know, your computer is where it needs to be as far as you know, encoding stuff and also your internet speed for being able to send out the bit rate that you need to for the game or whatever you're trying to play. Because it's very often you might start your stream depending on your internet service provider and they just decide, nah, your upload's not gonna be what you're paying for right now. But simply restarting that modem or router might fix it for you immediately. And then you don't have to deal with these problems while you're streaming. So it's really nice if you could know this on the front end. Well, with this tool, Twitch Inspector, you might be able to do just that. This essentially allows you to analyze and assist in the troubleshooting of internet connections or encoder related issues while broadcasting to Twitch, which is going to be a very useful tool. So let's talk about this tool, figure out if it's something you wanna use. I think it's very easy to use and it's going to be very useful for people who decide to live stream to Twitch and wanna make sure that they don't have one of those, you know, oops, I've gotta restart the stream because something seems a little bit off. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and then let's talk about Twitch Inspector. I'll show you how to set it up and how to utilize it to its best potential. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna be messing with this tool, Twitch Inspector. So let's go ahead and jump over here and we'll take a look at some of the previous tests that I've actually ran with it. We can actually see the difference in variance of bitrate and how much that's coming through. And we can also look at other stats as well. It does not show frames per second. So that's something that you might wanna monitor inside of OBS, which you can actually see if you're dropping those frames or not. But this is a good test to figure out if you have the internet bandwidth at the time to be able to stream what you wanna stream. So it's as simple as clicking run a stream test. And if you use a stream key, all you've got to really do is add this right here, question mark bandwidth test equals true to the end of your stream key. And then you're going to be able to start using this right away. It's actually not going to stream live to your Twitch channel. That is, it's not going to actually show up that you're live here at all. And your viewers are not going to get any kind of notification. So that's gonna be really nice. It's not going to bother people, which is one of the reasons I always said, make sure you have a secondary account. Well, this kind of alleviates that need entirely, which is really nice. So what you'll want to do is, you know, set this up by either pasting that into um, your stream key section, which is gonna be useful if you're not using something like OBS. But OBS actually, if you have your Twitch account linked and you go to settings, and go to stream. They actually have a button that says enable bandwidth test mode. So you can simply just click that or if you use, like I said, a stream key, just paste in that other section and then click apply. And I will also link this website down below as well. Um, then all you gotta really do is click start stream and OBS knows what you're doing and it's gonna say, hey, you're testing, this allows for network testing without going live to your channel. So keep that in mind. And once you're done testing, you might wanna uncheck that box to be able to say, hey, I actually wanna stream to my account. So make sure to uncheck that box before you decide to go live and start playing a game or talking to your viewers and then wondering why nobody's showing up because that's the reason why. So you can see that we're streaming and we're pushing out about 3000 kilobits per second, which is about three megabits. And if we minimize that, we can see we don't have anything yet. So let's give the page a refresh and boom, there we go. We are stable at 2,966 kilobits per second. And if we go over to our Twitch channels dashboard for the stream manager, there's nothing here. We are not streaming to our channel. So this is one of the big benefits of it. Uh, there's also some other benefits that I think you'll find very interesting. So we can see past logs and we can kind of see. So if you actually just wanted to run this for a, a long period of time and see if there's a certain time your internet service providers really kind of messing with stuff because I've had that problem before. It's like any time past like eight or nine o'clock, the internet's just awful and I have to restart my modem and then it's fine. So this could help you kind of identify those problems. So you've got a table, you've got some charts you can look at and see what the statistics look like. And you can actually click on these 
if you wanted to see more in detail, or we can click here and see the one that's running right now. So one of the big features about this that I like is obviously it tells you how long you've been streaming and what the bitrate is, but it tells you if it's doing good or not. And you definitely want to see excellent, but depending on your circumstances and situation, it might not say that, and this might let you kind of have a better understanding of what needs to be changed to make this work better. But what I like is the ability to go ahead and go live to this test infrastructure, whatever you want to call it, but it also has the ability to click a check mark and then a little notification thing pops up in the top left hand corner and you can say, yes, I want notifications. Let me know if my test stream becomes unstable. It's that easy to be able to say, okay, well, things are not working right. Here's what's going wrong. Maybe your bit rate's dipping. There you go. Now you have something to go off of to be able to figure out what you need to possibly fix, whether that's the encoder or like I said, your router or your modem from your internet service provider. So yeah, I know this was a very short video. I hope you can find a use case for this. I believe if you stream on Twitch, this is probably a tool you should definitely take a look at because it's gonna be useful for making sure that you don't get five minutes into your stream and just then find out something's just not right. So hopefully it'll be useful for you there. And also we're gonna have a video coming out soon. So go ahead and get subscribed on how to optimize your internet for streaming to Twitch, YouTube, wherever platform you decide to stream to, how to optimize your internet to be the best it can be for streaming. Also, if you haven't already, then be sure to check out this video here of where we talk about the best stream settings for Twitch based off of, you know, your computer, what you're playing and your internet speeds. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.